Jonathan Fernley here on commentary for Wednesday Night Hockey. The whole Stingrays against the Coventry Blaze. Slightly later than scheduled. We are ready for the puck to drop. First face-off comes by the way of the Hull Stingrays. And Jameson shifted across to Chilcock. Venus is in on the forecheck. And Lozon is going to skate it out. He loves to do this. He wants to take it all the way himself. Backhand shot and the first save is made by Brian Stewart. I don't think the Blaze are going to want to allow Carl Lozon that much room to skate down the ice. He can certainly cause a lot of problems if he's given that much room. There wasn't too much of an alarm on that backhand shot. There's Galbraith. Singrays cycling the puck around. Pasha sneaking in at the side of the goal and the shot was off Stewart. Chilcott hits it and that goes through the crowd and wide. Pasha. Tried to slap it back into danger, and it got deflected out to neutralise. Maya tries to cut in front, Tanaka blocked him off, the puck squirts through, it comes back to Frederick who shoots, and it goes over the top of the goal, Galbraith picks it back up. Side of the goal, Maya tries to squeeze one in, and Stewart got square to it. Here is Tanaka. Bounce pass off the boards, he picks it up himself. He's trying to go around Pasha and he's drawn a penalty. And that's good skating from Kale Tanaka. The Stingray saw plenty of that during his season here a couple of years ago. And the first power play of the game is going the way of the Coventry Blaze. It's a hooking call on Omar Pasha. And the Stingrays have been pretty good at scoring goals shorthanded this season. And the Blaze will have to be careful. Feed to Tanaka, he has one whack at it, then two. And Brown has got it saved down by his left pad. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of nasty stuff. Tanaka is in the thick of it. And it's Pasha that he's... Seems to be having a bit of a running battle with tonight. He's going back for extras. And I think that one might have a little bit more to run. Maybe it's time for O'Mara. Fed right across, Tendler's there. Tries to play it into the crease, the puck pops up. And Brown has a hold of it, and now Frederick decides he wants a cuddle. We're starting to see a little bit more of this after the whistle. Stingrays are the least penalised team in the league. The Blaze, the second least penalised team in the league. Final 30 seconds, we're inside. Lozon's looking for a shooting lane. He gets one, it's off the right arm of Stewart. And we're picked up by Knox. Back to Frederick, look out for his snapshot from that left point. Good defensive play from O'Mara. Stingrays will have to come out of the zone. We'll have just enough time to get back in, maybe get a shot away. The puck will come all the way through to Stewart, who didn't cover it. Backhand a shot, the puck loops up, and it's swiped away out of danger by Brian Stewart. And the clock hits all zeros. So, a scoreless first. What will we see in this second period? The Stingrays win the opening draw. A chance to get the puck forward and use this remaining power play time. They don't get much further than the blue line. And the puck is sent all the way back into their own zone. Galbraith. It's tough to stop when he gets moving like this. Galbraith goes through and the backhand shot. It's the very top of the glass but stays in play. Here comes Jameson into the play. Shot is blocked. And straight out of the box and onto the puck is Jorgensen. That shot deflects off Chilcott stick. And goes vertically up and hits the ceiling. Sescon called for the pass but didn't get it. Blaze went to Lee instead. It comes all the way across. Oh, and Pash has paid a price for blocking that shot. And he wants to get up but he can't at the moment. And that's a really painful one. As Pasha sold out to block the shot from Tate. And the Stingrays already missing Davis. Havato 
and Turcotte surely can't be afford to losing another, be losing another player. Missed games earlier this season, Omar Pasha with a broken arm. Then missed a couple of games because he threw a water bottle. There is now real concern for the Stingrays player coach after he got in the way of that blocked shot from Ashley Tate. And Omar Pasha is being held back to his skates. And is he coming back to the bench or is he going to return straight to the locker room? And it looks like he's coming back to the Stingrays bench. Well, that will at least give the race fans some hope. And he may well be able to return in this game. I'd be surprised if we see him in the remainder of this period. Jameson and Frederick with good defensive work. Tanaka will need to clear. Oh, he's given it away to Arndt and Brown has bailed him out. Tanaka with a shocking pass. He just didn't see Arndt in his blind spot. And David Brown has smothered it at the top of the crease. And that was a huge moment that's come and gone. Remember, the Edinburgh Capitals are trailing by three goals in South Wales. And the Capitals' loss does put the Stingrays in the playoffs, regardless of what happens here tonight. As Lee and Lozon now exchange words. And there's a fun little fall for Tanaka. He was very popular during his season here. And that little stumble was also extremely popular. Uh, now face to face. And the puck is with Galbraith. He's trying to hold off two. Puck lands inside the Stingray zone and Osman has to get to it. And he's able to clear it away. Final few seconds of the period. 15 ticks left. How adventurous do the Blaze want to be? They're going to try and come forward. They don't get beyond the red line. And is Galbraith going to muscle Tanaka off the puck? He just about is. And the final couple of seconds are going to tick away and the Stingrays won't get the puck into a shooting position. And the hooter sounds to end the second period. It was a scoreless first. It was a scoreless second. We will start five on five. Referee is Mike Hicks. And play is back underway in possession with the Stingrays. And they've started the first and the second periods very well, the Stingrays. Yes. Icing is called right away. Well, the good news for the Stingrays is that Omar Pasha is back out. He's completed his first pass to Will Frederick. And so just a couple of shifts. Oh, Knox has found room, centre ice. Forced onto the backhand side by Da Costa. And then the puck is covered by Brian Stewart. Lows on, the puck hot by Sescon. Lows on, goes for the shot, save is made by Stewart. The puck is still there in the crease. And Stewart has got it, just about. For a nervous moment, he turned around and looked behind him. And all the time, the puck was frozen in his glove, but he didn't know it. And now Galbraith will come forward. Osman will drive the net. So will Galbraith. The puck is there. It's out of reach of Stewart. Can the Stingrays put it in on the backhand? No, they can't because Griffin's got across to block it. The puck is still underneath Griffin. And play was not blown dead as Pasha shoots. Saved by Stewart. Puck is still live. What a passage of play. We're into the final 10 minutes of the game. And what a scramble that was. And credit to Griffin for getting down and blocking the shot. Well done by Lozon. Played out to Galbraith. Save made Stewart. Remember, these two teams went all the way to a shootout last weekend. Galbraith shoots off the angle and Stewart made the save. Tanaka. Galbraith reaches around with his stick. Makes life awkward. Plays. Trying to get the puck out of the zone and they've just about managed it. Galbraith doing all he can. Tendler. Cleared away. Is there room for Tanaka? 
It'll be taken away by Smith. Tanaka still has it. He's found Lozon. 15 seconds sent into the crease. And Galbraith had his back to the puck. He didn't realise it was coming. Takes a couple of tips and Galbraith couldn't get onto it. It's cleared away and it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, overtime. And again, Pasha and Tanaka have a coming together. But both teams will get one point. The Blaze... And the Stingrays will now play for an extra. The play and so we will play for an extra point. The Stingrays knowing that if they score in overtime, their playoff place is confirmed. So there was At some point tonight, someone's got to put the puck in the net to win the game. Will that happen here in four on four overtime? Plays have the first opportunity, it gets off O'Mara's stick. And Brown will be happy just to draw a whistle. This is Knox. Fed across, opportunity, Osmond's denied by Stewart. And not for the first time tonight. What a game Brian Stewart is having. Stingrays must be wondering what they've got to do to get a goal. Knox again, Frederick, Knox, fed across, oh it's just wide, can the Stingrays not find the goal again, how have they managed that, Osman so close, Lowe's on, Knox, Stewart's made the save and the nets come off in the process, Lowe's on again, Tanaka, opportunity, Meyer, what a save again from Stewart, Two seconds left on the penalty, that now ends. We're back to four on four. O'Mara is out of the box, but Meyer is on the puck. Now Tanaka. Trying to get away from Sescon, was he dragged back? Yes, he was. Sescon got his hands onto him and held him. Brown's on the bench for the extra skater. Knox joins the play. The Stingrays are going on the man advantage again. Tanaka. And the Blaze have got four skaters, but only three sticks. Galbraith, oh that one hit Jorgensen, Meyer, remember this is all on a delayed penalty, oh and Sescon went and got his stick, but he's now going to head to the penalty box on a holding minor. Drop for Meyer, sent towards Galbraith, here is Galbraith again, shoots from the angle, save is made, puck is loose and it couldn't be swept back to the waiting Frederick and now he's the only defenseman back De Costa towards Arndt it'll come to the near side who's going to react to it first it'll be the Stingrays but can they skate the puck out of the zone they can't we've got 10 seconds left Frederick Frederick's got a shoot he does and Stewart makes one final save and drops the puck down and that will end the game and both goalies have recorded a 65 minute shutout what a tremendous effort from Brian Stewart tonight David Brown I don't think he had a save to make in overtime but Brian Stewart had several and he made them all in quite fantastic style and it will be Jeremy Tendler so the first shooter is Tendler so it is Tendler against Brown to open the shootout and it is saved by Brown as Tendler faked forehand and shot backhand First up for the Stingrays, it is Jordan Mayer. He has had shootout success already this season. It'll be a different story against Brian Stewart. Save is made and the puck goes over the top. Stewart aggressive in coming out to meet Jordan Mayer. 
and he made the stop and so now it is Derek Lee round two Lee against Brown and this shot is off target tried to snap one top corner and he couldn't make it happen here comes Dominic Osman denied twice superbly by Brian Stewart cross crease passes that Osman hit first time and he got across to kick him away how will they fare against each other in the shootout and Stewart waits him out Osman was trying to drag him out of position and Stewart wouldn't fall for it and so we go to the final round of the three with Ben Arndt it's Arndt against Brown and Arndt's missed the target as well tried to shoot block aside and Brown not called upon to make the stop and so Will Frederick is coming forward potentially to win the game for the Stingrays it is all over if Frederick scores and he can't lift it in on the backhand side the stick save from Brown and so we go to sudden death no scorer through three rounds and now the order will shift and the Stingrays will shoot first there's a mistake made by the officials in the last shootout here when it went to extras and the Stingrays were still allowed to shoot second but they will shoot first as we reverse the order for all subsequent rounds and we'll begin with Jordan Knox so Knox against Stewart to start round four and he can't lift it over the pad is anyone gonna beat Brian Stewart tonight and so it is down to Ryan O'Mara to potentially win the game well he will win the game if he scores the former first round draft pick can win it here and he has the Blazer winners in a shootout but the Stingrays get the point they need and secure their position in the playoffs but it's the Blaze that get the two tonight and it was Ryan O'Mara's winning penalty shot that made the difference